Good day, boys and girls. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. We're going to work with why. Make sure you've got your pencil, paper, crayons there to work. It will be um, why. Let's see. Remember our alphabet song. You could go over it after this um, video, but why for yet? For yawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Why for yawn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we wake up in the morning or before we go to bed, we might give it a big yawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the Y sound. To get started, I want to read a poem about yawning yaks. Yawning yaks. So before we do that, I want to show you a yak. Here is a yak. They live in the cold, dry plateau of Tibet. You can see that it's brownish, blackish. It is almost, it's about six foot tall when it's full grown to its shoulders. It's got lots of fur here that hangs very low. Keeps it warm. It lives in a cold area. It's sometimes called the wild ox of Asia. It, um, is, it walks around with its nose almost on the ground all the time. It's a very heavy animal between 1,000 or 1,200 pounds. But even though it's big, God has made it so it's very agile. In other words, it can move around easily. It slides down slopes. It can swim in swift water. It can walk across icy, steep mountains. It is really an agile animal. Not one we see around here much, maybe at the zoo if we're lucky, but he's rather different looking. Well, my poem today is called Yawning Yaks. Here it is. Yawning yaks, and this is one you can help me do. There's the yak yawning his mouth, and it starts, it's a counting one. Yawning yaks, and we're gonna start with five. So get your five fingers up. Five little yaks yawn a lot. Time for bed, believe it or not. Yawn, yawn, yawn. It's late in the day, so one little yak wanders away. So if there were five and one went away, now there's four. So let's try it again. Four little yaks yawn a lot. Time for bed, believe it or not. Yawn, yawn. Yawn. It's late in the day, so one little yak wanders away. So we started with four this time. One went away, and now there is three. Good. Here we go. Three little yaks yawn a lot. Time for bed, believe it or not. Yawn, yawn, yawn. It's late in the day, so one little yak wanders away. So if we started with three that time, one goes away, now we have two. That's right, are you ready to do it again with me? Two little yaks yawn a lot. Time for bed, believe it or not. Yawn, yawn. Yawn. It's late in the day, so one little yak wanders away. Oh, one went, went away. We had two. One went away, and now there is one. You ready? One little yak yawns a lot. Time for bed, believe it or not. Yawn, yawn, yawn. 
It's late in the day, so one little yak wanders away. So if there was only one and he wandered away, how many is left? None. And the, the number for none is zero. Zero yaks left. Well, let's look at our paper. Let's get our paper and pencil out. And let's make some Y's. I see some Y's here, do you? We'll count them in a minute, but let's first work on making some Y's. Let's see. I've got my paper here, my board here, and my marker. Make sure you put that pen, pencil, whatever in your hand. Here's your alligator, put it right. Do the alligator. And this finger holds it, it's a pillow for the alligator. Let's do capital Y first. They are not many me's. So let's be careful. Here we go. We're going to start up here. Slide right. Slant left. And it looks like a V, doesn't it? And then we make a straight line down. That's a capital Y. Let's try another capital Y. Start at the top. Slant right. Slant left. So I make the V. And then from the bottom of the V, straight line. And we've got a capital Y. Let's try another capital Y. Again, slant to the right, slant to the left. There's our V, straight line down. And now we have three capital Ys. Good job. Did you go straight down? All right, now let's try lowercase y. It tricks boys and girls sometimes. We are going to make a slant to the right and then we're going to make start slanting to the left but then we're going to keep on going in a slant and now we have lowercase y. It's not straight like capital. It slants. Let's try another one. Slant to the right, slant to the left, and keep on going. And now you have a beautiful lowercase y. Shall we try another one? Be careful. Slant left, slant right, and keep on going, 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 going. And now we have a lowercase y. Capital Y, lowercase y. Good, good. I like how you did that. Nice job. Well, let's count the y's in our poem. Let's see how many y's are in it today. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Can you see something? I see a capital one. Another capital one. Yawning X. One, two. Okay. Little yaks, three, there's a lowercase y, four, another case, lowercase y, four. Let's keep looking with our finger. I believe not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm looking for some more. Eight, there's a Y at the end of the word. Eight. Nine. And I see one way at the very end of the poem. Ten, away in the word, away. Okay, lots of Y's there. Y for young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you practice that. Singing that alphabet song, that's important to know. You need to know how to make those letters, what sounds they make. All right, today's story, you're gonna like this. It's a guessing one. It's called, You'll Never Guess. You'll Never Guess. Oh, look, look what I see there. It's a capital Y. Look, slants to the left, slants to the right, and straight down. Capital Y. You'll never guess. There's an exclamation point at the end of it. 
that's means you're excited. It could be a good one, excitement or maybe a bad one. You'll never guess. And it is written. That means the words were written and pictures were drawn by Fiona Dunsbar. You'll never guess. Get your guessing caps on because you've really got a guess in this one. What's there at the front? They look like shadows of something. Hmm. You'll never guess. Let's see. Here the children are. You'll never guess. They're getting their guessing poses on. Ooh. Look here. You'll never guess what this is. That's what the little girl is saying. And the little boy says, could it be my friend Lisa? Well, it sure does look like a girl, doesn't it? Maybe it is his friend Lisa. Let's see. What do you think? <laughs> look. No, silly. It's the dog from next door. Now let's look at that again. Go back and look at her. You see, this is the dog's ears, his head, his mouth, and here's his legs down here. Look, see that? All right, here's another one. This is easy. It's a palm tree. Sure looks like a palm tree, doesn't it? Let's see what it is. Let's see if it's a palm tree. Oh, wrong, it says. Wrong, look what it is. It's a movie star and a crazy hat. That sure is a crazy hat. We'll go back and look at that one, too. See, this is a crazy hat. And there's her body. She's in a long dress. <laughs> Quick! Hide! It's a huge, ferocious lion. Wow, it does look like a lion. <gasps> Relax. It's just Rover bringing in a sheep. Well, look how he's bringing in the sheep. He's got it over his head so it doesn't get away again. Oh, I know this one. It's a pepper grinder. Do you know what a pepper grinder is? You might have one at your house. You take this and twist it, and pepper comes out the bottom like salt and pepper you have on the table to put on food. You twist it, and there's peppercorns in it and they grind up into pepper. So it looks like a pepper grinder. It sure looks like mine. Wait till you see. Sorry. It's a doll from China. Dressed in a kimono. There's the doll. <laughs> she does look like a pepper grinder. Now this must be a teapot. Sure looks like a teapot, doesn't it? No. It's a little boy riding an elephant. <laughs> Did they fool you again? Wow, these kids are good. This, well, this is, well, is this someone else on an elephant? So they're thinking it looks, looks like the teapot again, doesn't it? So they're saying, well, okay, maybe this is an elephant this time, and is it somebody else on the elephant? Sorry. 
surprise. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It's a snake. Just finished with lunch. Here's a snake's head and he's ate lunch and it's in his tummy going down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sure this is a snail. What else could it be? Oh, can you think of something else it could be other than a snail? Because have you guessed anything right yet? This is a fooling, tricky book to me. Let me see. Look! It's Grandma knitting a muffler. It's a scarf, a muffler, she's linting. And look, when you look back at the picture, see these two things? Those are the knitting needles, and those are what you see here. Here's her chair, here's her chair. Grandma's in it, we can't see it all. And there, this is the muffler and the knitting needles. We'll go back to Grandma again, see? Ah, oh, maybe you'll get this one. If this isn't a cat, I'll eat my hat. If this isn't a cat, I'll eat my hat. Huh, cat, hat, they rhyme, don't they? They end the same cat, hat. Let's see, do you think it's a cat? What do you think? I'm looking, I'm turning. <gasps> I hope you're hungry because it's a sly old fox instead. He wasn't a cat. I guess he's gonna eat his hat. <laughs> Not really. Here's a car. Here is a car. It's definitely a car. He says, you sure? And she says, Absolutely, positively, it has to be a car. Let's see. Ha! Fooled you. Look at that. It's a turtle on roller skates. Well, how many times do we see a turtle on roller skates? I don't think I've ever seen one till now. A turtle on roller skates. It did look like a car, doesn't it? It's the shape of it. Okay. You guess this one. Hmm, take a look. If you're so smart, you guess this one. If you're so smart, that's obvious, says the girl. It's a hen laying an egg. Yeah, that's what it looks like, doesn't it? A hen laying an egg. See? It's not that easy. It's Dad having his breakfast. <laughs> he looks like a hen laying an egg. How silly. All right. Ooh. I'll give you a clue for this one. It used to be a prince. Hmm. If it used to be a prince, hmm. that's simple. It's a king. If he used to be a prince, then it's a king. So let's see. Wrong again. It's a frog waiting to be kissed. Look at his feet together. That's the crown. There's his face. I think he'll have to wait a long time, too. She doesn't want a kiss from the frog. Ah, here's another one. Look out! It's a monster with lots of arms and legs and heads. Oh, look out. It does have lots of arms and legs and heads. It's okay. Calm down. It's only the movie star and the dogs and the sheep and the doll from Japan and the little boy on the elephant and the snake and grandma 
and the sly old fox and the turtle and dad and the frog. Those are the things we saw. It's all them. Look, we'll go back to that picture again. See? There they are. Wow. So this is just another bunch of people and animals, isn't it? It looks like it, doesn't it? Another bunch of animals and people. Oh, no, it isn't. It's monsters. Quick. Look at them run. 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 There's an exclamation point again. Run. Where do you think we'll hide? Where do you think they'll hide? And they end the story with this. You'll never guess. Which was the name of the story? You'll never guess. Where do you think they'll hide? Now you think about that a while. Where do you think they'll hide? It's been fun being with you today. I likewise, I even wore my yellow shirt for yellow. Well, until next time, here's my air hug. Have a good day. We'll see you.